This place is definitely going to be full of monsters. This place really gives me the feeling of, you know in the stalker games when you enter one of the laboratories? Fucking hell, those places are so terrifying. I still remember in, I think it was stalker, uh, the, the misery mod. I think I went into a laboratory and I ran out of batteries for my light. So I couldn't see shit, I was stuck in one of these places with no freaking light. Whew. Oh god. <laughs> wow. We're kidding about the spiders. They're everywhere. Chill. Ooh, look at the way that's peeling. Not just like a peeling texture, but like literally a thing actually coming away from the wall. Usually it's just a texture. Totally flat. Yeah, it wouldn't be good if the power stopped and I was stuck down below. Go down to the left narrow passage. Gotcha. Right. Their mom was an officer here. Oh. Oh, I hear bad, bad things down here. Oh no. We got big spiders. Oh. Whoa. So they can't stand the light. This is so fucking cool and creepy. Alright, let's keep this light charged. Go to the left, there's a narrow passage, is that it? That might be it. 
But I also want to burn down all the webs and explore. Doesn't seem like it. Is that a message? What is that? Really stands out. It's not like there's a bunch of graffiti down here. Somebody put that on the wall. Oh my god, how did you get there? I guess it is a spider, it can probably get pretty much anywhere. Crowbar. Not that melee weapons are a thing, which I just realized. Yeah, melee weapons aren't a thing in this game. You can't find them, you can't upgrade them or anything like that. It's kind of interesting. Mark the way. Mark that someone's been here. I don't know why I'm burning down all the webs. I guess just because it's satisfying. It's not like the spiders are going to go, Oh, damn, our webs are gone. Well, I guess we'll move. That's a spider hole. Oh, that makes lighting these things interesting, too, because they're actually, you're creating a little bit of a safe space. Like, if I run here, they shouldn't be able to get me here, right? Will they come to the outskirts? I just want to test this. I want to make sure that I am actually safe here. Yes.
don't know if it's worth trying to shoot them. It would be good to get rid of them and deal with them rather than just keep them at bay. Damn, how many shots do you take? Holy shit! Whoa, okay, no, I'm not gonna try to kill them. Brute force is not a good way, it's- I just put four shotgun rounds into it and it's not dead. Oh my god! Burn! Burn! Oh hell yeah, lights just came on in the whole place, I just realized. I was looking at the... the subtitles. Huh? Oh, right. The gas mask. So, yeah, I still have to wear it. And actually, speaking of, I don't have much time left. Four minutes, thirty? Not terrible, but... I need to... I, I want to explore this place. I still need to find that picture. Um, I guess I don't have to worry about the spiders too much. What is that noise? It's like tick, 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 tick. Alright, where would the picture be? Maybe at somebody's desk? Maybe in a locker? I really don't want to miss it. I want that picture. Ooh. No, that's not it. Uh, memo, January 12th, 2018. Don't spread the panic. Colonel Markov's suicide note is to be kept under wraps. I'm classifying it as top secret. Nobody except for us three is to know if his last... Is to know... No if? Uh, I think it's supposed to be of. To know of his last orders, which are null and void anyway, as Colonel Markov killed himself to avoid bearing responsibility for carrying those orders out. Directive 01 is to be strictly observed. The radio silence stands. The war is still going on, and we are soldiers. Even if we are to follow those treacherous orders, we don't have the manpower or transport required to undertake a thousand kilometer journey. Lieutenant Colonel R.V. Novikov. Acting Commander of Caspian 1 Satellite Communications Center. Now I want to know what those orders were. Apparently they involved... going a thousand kilometers. To where? It was something considered treacherous. Burn. Um, oh, hey, this just opened, didn't it? So maybe it's just there. Maybe it's over there. But first, run around. I've already been here. Is there any area I haven't been? It's actually not that big at all. I don't think so. Let's go this way. Oh no, metal. Whoa. They've been knifed. Через те 
трещины, что на нижнем уровне получились. Как крайний раз тряхануло, газ просачивается. Токсичный, чтоб ты понимал. Вентиляция его пока вытягивает, справляется. Но что, если снова свет отрубится? Или тряхнет еще разок, и трещины пошире откроются? Я Викторовичу доложил, но он в своем репертуаре. Сидит у себя в командирском кабинете, бухает и толдычит одно и то же. Не разводить панику, придерживаться директивы 01. Ах, уже и не знаю, что тут делать -то. So it sounds like they got unhappy with Directive Zero One. Maybe they would have been better off following the orders. Of course, I don't know what they were. Maybe they were terrible orders. Still haven't found that picture. I'm worried because that was like a whole office space, you know? But uh, there's probably more. There's probably more to this. Left of air. Yes, turn the lights on. Wow. Wait, the ventilation is fine? Does that mean I don't need my mask? Yeah. Oh, thank God. This place. This high tech center just covered in dirt and dust. But it still runs, sort of. <laughs> Picture might be on one of these desks. Did not mean to do that. Sorry if I freaked you out. Operational. Shows a picture of a like a, a bunch of rockets ready to be launched from some sort of vehicle. This place is so eerie. I love it. Rattling fans and the ventilation. Oh, you can see all the dust being sucked into them too. Okay, I guess there's no picture here. I super don't want to miss it.
крайней мере, тебя будет слышно. Клевер. По схеме, двери архива открываются вручную только изнутри. Но туда можно попасть через вентиляцию из смежного помещения. Поищи вход там. Oh, wow. It's like everybody died while at a meeting, planning something. Image analysis. Having finished analyzing the latest satellite photographs, we arrived at the conclusion that the reservoir is accumulating radioactive fallout which forms a sediment at the bottom and does not interfere with the ecosystem below the dam, thus keeping the levels of pollution in the region relatively moderate. It is although obvious that the long-term effects will wholly depend on the water's the water lock's state. Of the lock gates remaining standing, we can safely consider the valley safe for decades. Should the water break through, though, it will bring thousands of tons of radioactive sediment with it, leaving the valley even worse off than the other polluted territories. Does that mean the water lock busted? Because there's no water here? Probably, that's probably them, that's probably their mother. Sorry. I wish I knew their name. I don't... I, did they say their mother's name? Oh, God, that scared me. Get the fuck out of here.
Are there something other than spiders in these vents? I just saw a body being carried somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, those are scorpions. At least they're afraid of light, too. I'm moving till they're dead. Are they like regenerating or is there a lot of them or what? Oh, maybe I have to do that with them. I can't get in there. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to go. So we're looking for, sorry, fairly modern records, I think, 2000-something. Probably the most up-to-date, maybe. I forgot exactly what the record is supposed to give us as far as information goes. I guess, I guess we're looking for the most up-to-date satellite information. Radiation hotspots, things like that. room. Hell of a grim scene. I think they died when the ventilation system failed, it looks like. They're all wearing gas masks, probably ran out of filters. Last orders, January 12th, 2018. It's been five years since our last contact with the HQ. For five years, we've been carrying out their last order. Keep radio silence and await further instructions. The rations have been cut down to the barest minimum. 
yet will completely run out of food come summer. The people are at the verge of exhaustion. Increasing seismic activity has compromised the facility's structural integrity. We are running out of time. Environment outside is deteriorating rapidly. Satellite monitoring confirms that effective radioactive pollution levels are much higher than in any of the predicted scenarios. You can count the areas remaining relatively clean in the northern hemisphere on the fingers. The one nearest to our location is more than 2,000 kilometers away. Considering the present situation, I can no longer bear the responsibility for the lives of the personnel. My final orders are... Disregard Directive 01. Contact the Yamantau Government Survival Facility and demand further instructions pertaining to the actual situation. 2. If such instructions are not received within three days, abandon the communications center and move out to the nearest clean zone. I have no idea how we would cross more than 2,000 kilometers in our present state. Still, getting there is the only way to ensure survival of the personnel. Consider this my formal resignation letter. Colonel M.S. Markov. Oh, so these... These were the final orders of the person who killed themselves. These are very sensible. Wow, they should have done this. They wouldn't be dead in some dusty old planning room. <laughs> the lift or the lights, great. I just run. Fuck it, I'm running. I kind of forgot where I need to go exactly.
Fuck this. Is this the way to go? I need to make another filter. Oh, finally you opened it? I came here a couple times, nothing happened. Alright, let's go. Oh, thanks. Спасибо тебе, Артем. Это тебе. Когда я маленький был, отец дарил. Дамир говорил, с вами девочка едет. Отдай ей. Пусть удачу ей принес. Thanks. Вы очень везучий. Мунай Байлер много поход ушел, почти весь. Если Арда был тут, вы бы уже мертвый был. Думаю, это наш шанс что-то изменить. А, Мунай Байлер. Это по-русски получается нефтяники, пожалуй. Меня слушал, как идти рассказываю. Когда вышел, направо езжал. Там дорога в порт когда-то был. Аня должна быть где-то там. Свяжись с ней, наверняка она нашла что-то интересное. Я останусь. Попробую выяснить побольше про этих нефтяников. Как узнаю, что полезное, сразу свяжусь с базой. Гюль, скажи, как получилось, что здесь заправляет этот барон? Мой народ сам выбирал свой судьба. Как это сам? Сами в рабство пошли? Сам, сам. Мунай Байлер сказал, работал на меня, я защищать буду. Он согласился. Мунай Байлер сказал, почитал священный пламя. Он тоже согласился? Ну... Но... Тогда ведь у них и выбора не было. Сражался, был выбор. Сражался и умирал, но не ставал раб. Не все к этому готовы. Надо был готов. Я всегда готов. Потому и сражаешься одна. Ха! Для оборон меня один хватит. Но ну, убьешь ты его, а дальше? Барон мертвый будет? Тогда буду продальше думать. Тоже верно. Иди, Артем. Удачи пожелать. Беги, пожалуй, Артем. Позже поговорим. Хорошей дороги. До свидания, Артем. 
Feels good to be in this thing again. 